This is a presentation of a quartet of poems that uh, is called Song for the Horizon. It uh, is extracted from the poetry collection called The Garden Black. A Song for the Low Horizon I play to the crowd below as I pass quicker than a breathless sigh. They slip away and until they are horizon, until they disappear down and beyond the far side of the planet. No one notices, no one cares. I am anonymous, a man alive, unchanging in his own cocoon. If they look, they'll see a shooting star hurtling through the night, a reflection a kind of deflection of the sun. I take my fiddle out of the case that I keep taped to the wall, catch the escaping rosin, apply it to the bow, and limber my voice up and down and deeper. Then an exercise for fingers, my left hand fingers, Danny Boy. I always begin with a rendition of Danny Boy, followed by a brief dance tune. Then, in just a short while, I start singing. Everything that is me, that is my voice, fills the capsule with my singing. Sound gets lost in space, or so they say, but... If I position myself in the right place, in the best place, my voice echoes. It comes back at me, and I sound as though I am a harmony. Come, jig a little jig for me while I play. I think I can imagine just the way you dance. I will sing for you a space station solo, all by myself in a kind of harmony. I look down through the port again. You and your world are gone. There is a silver line across the low horizon. A song for the far horizon. She watched the sky at night at those times when the moon was small. Sometimes the outline was there in full, even though a crescent was all there was to reflect sunlight. She spent long minutes reassuring herself what specks were planet, what specks were star. Couldn't reconcile why only some pinpoints would twinkle. Venus always seemed something like a lover, circling round the moon, sometimes near, sometimes at a distance. And then at times, a different light would move, right to left across her sky. And she wondered, was it a ship, a station, or just a satellite photographing the shine of cities? She wondered if a man up there could look down to see her place on Earth and marvelled at the haste of light shooting across the darkness, scurrying to another side of the world. She danced a little dance some nights of legs and arms and twirls, all up and down along her mother's rosebed, looked up again at Venus and the moon, saw only a few stars twinkling. Song for the Chosen Horizon They talk about a walk in space, but I don't know. It's more like a floating, a push when I press the button, forward, back, or up and down. Choose a plane that you will call horizon. Select a stance that you know to be standing. Don't move your legs. 
Don't try to swim with the motion of your arms. Trust. Place your faith inside your suit, then pick out a direction and decide how fast. Go slow. And decide how far. The harness. Array your tools the way you practiced in the capsule. Breathing is such a wild thing. So loud inside a helmet that I can almost hear the individual molecules of my own inhaled air. Men swear there must be life out here, but I am not so sure. When you can sense the way the vacuum wants to kiss you, and when you can see the squared result of nothing right before your eyes, you know then what it means to be alone. Press a button, feel the thrust, creep along the job until it's done, then turn around, push away for home. Stay on a level with the relativity of your personally chosen horizon. Song for the Deep Horizon He keeps his eyes closed tight, teeth clenched against the pressure. Strapped into his seat, he knows emotionally that he is burning. The darkness in his capsule is on fire. He wonders what is left of his soul to sacrifice in the sear of these flames. What is left of the man who once upon a time left the earth? Who is the comet man re-entering on fire? A phoenix, perhaps? Or some other bird consumed in the night by the sky? Water is like stone when it is struck by a blow from above. Water is like cloud, like a mist when it burns. Silence is time, like a wave washing both Traveller and his capsule ride. While the horizon, at last, is just a few feet deep, almost within his grasp.